specialized in wrestling for the majority of his martial arts career from childhood. Oh! Oh, look at oh, Jenkins. 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 He's got it! Udo. And it's under the neck! Tight! Bubba Jenkins the tap. forces the tap! Wow! Bubba Batman Jenkins oh, first round finish! There it is, Jenkins. Sees that Kudo's back is exposed. Not only gets the hooks, he goes right for that submission. The neck was exposed, the chin was up. He went right for it, didn't waste any time. Comes right out on Ryoji Kudo's back, secures both hooks, and has the choke cinched before they even hit the ground. That was very deep, very impressive. Amazing mat sense by Bubba Jenkins to know exactly where he was at. Turn his back, turn to his back. Oh no, right, right back to ground and pal goes Roy McDonald. Big left hands coming down and Brett Cooper rolling. Gives up his back now. Rory threatening with the choke. He's got it under the chin. He Locked switches in. it. Locked in, squeezing. And there's the tag, Rory McDonald with a quick six points in his first regular season bout of 2022. Cooper tries to get out, turns his back. Donald rolls with him, gets it under the chin, locks it in, flies the hips and the squeeze. Tough to get out of it from that position. And here come the left hands. Omar Hussein's going to have to do more to defend himself. Got to find a way to get that elbow escape going and find a way out of here. Change your looking hard. The warning coming from Rich Mitchell. Omar Hussein at the very last second rolls. Now rear naked choke of his own. Alex Chizhov's got a bulldog grip, trying to find a way to lock it in. Oh, that looks pretty tight now. Not under the chin. There's the tap. Alex Chizhov. What a fight. Flex the script. Just got it enough underneath the neck to put enough pressure on the carotid artery there, right on the neck. Up. Hussein getting a beautiful finish. What a fight. On the win, the Mafia's fine. Mark Choke here, guillotine. Got the army guillotine right in the mouth. Very tight. Done. Very tight. You can't tell if he's still there or not. Gary Copeland looking close. Darius Mafi. Darius Mafi on autopilot here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gary Copeland is going to have to defend the takedown. Submission victory. He the fighters. He saw that Mafi was still fighting out of it. He was trying to move. You see him kind of based on his legs. His arms are starting to clap. You see the eyes kind of roll back. He's flailing his arms. Really? Again, not really able to defend Next himself. Declaring your winner via technical submission with guillotine choke and progressing to the 2023 PFL Europe Series, Ali Taleb! On the back already with two hooks as he tries to go for the rear naked choke. He's underneath the chin. He's got it under the Tight. chin. Ben Ellis able to peel that top hand off the top of his head as blood trickles from a cut over his right eye. All Nathan Kelly here halfway through round number one. Nice hand fighting by Ellis. He's got one hand controlled. Keeping Kelly from cinching oh. it now. Kelly's good, he's trying to cinch it in. There's big trouble face. here. Ellis can't peel that top hand off a second time. And that's the tap! Nathan Kelly elicits the tap rear naked choke victory for the Irishman. Get overpowered there, Sean. Nathan Kelly climbs onto the back, secures both hooks, immediately got that right arm underneath the chin of Ben Ellis. Again, you can choke someone out with just one arm. He ended up getting both arms, secured that rear naked choke, forcing Ben Ellis to the tap. What a performance from the Irishman. Nice scramble here by Price. Can he get out the back door? He does. 
Beautiful escape there by Miles Price, who now gets on top and trying to choke. Triangle choke. Venice is trying to lock up this triangle. Anthony has seemed to be a step ahead, and here he is almost locking up a triangle submission here. The beauty of kinetic chess. Yeah. Reaching over and squeezing his knees together, trying to force that left shoulder of Miles Price into his own karate. Oh, now he's really tired. And he's got, got the arm pass across his body. Here. Sweet Top to side the now. And there's, there's the tap. Anthony Showtime Pettis. Six point submission victory. Good enough for first place in the Pepper, lightweight standings. That is a man who wanted to make a statement tonight. Beautiful performance by Anthony Pettis. Showtime indeed, Anthony Pettis. A ground and pound position for her for sure. She's very, very slick at transitioning that arm bar from here too if you extend those arms too much. Right hand goes to work through the middle of the guard and there's- Arm the triangle. Kayla Harrison clamping down. She's got it tight, look for the climb off mount. If she can get this locked in, she's got it locked. And she just squeezes, squeezes. from the full mount position. You drop a tap! Kayla Harrison, first round submission! And here it is. She slides off to the side, gets that angle of those hips and squeezes. Gets tighter and tighter. There's the tap by Jindrova. Kayla Harrison with the win over Jindrova. There's your final. Grab that tricep and slide in. Mark Stula's doing a pretty good job of countering it. He needs to talk on the phone right now and create some space and protect his neck. Made up trying to slide in the side. He's got it. It's in squeeze. Yeah, he's going to finish this. Very tight. Very tight. Ostolas might go out. He's out. out. Unconscious. Submission victory in the second round for five points. Has the arm triangle, gets off the mount to get to a better position to apply pressure to those carotid arteries. And Ostolas doesn't tap, he goes to sleep. A big right hand. Oh. That right hand was soft. Yeah, that hurt him. Right Stunned him. He is. That was a flash knockout. Right to the Darce show. Wow. I mean, he's not messing around. High level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Listen, that's his default mode. He's so good once he gets his arms around your neck from any position, front choke from behind, doesn't matter. And just went right to it. You can see the confidence in which he's moving. It's just a totally different guy in Antonio Carlos Jr. He's putting it all together beautifully, and uh, he just put everybody at 205 on notice. Unbelievable. Steven. Inside Stevie Ray's corner. There it is. Nice job by Pettis. Oh, he still has that body triangle, though. That is wrenching the back of Anthony Pettis. You see Anthony Moore wincing there. That left Steven foot Steven is putting Steven a lot of torque on the Steven back Steven. of the side. by that inside hook. His hips are going one way, his back is going the other. That's never a good thing. Painful situation for Anthony Pettis. 